Good evening, YouTubers. This is Puka Digit here. So, um, konbawa mi san, Puka Digit des, all the way from Hong Kong. And welcome back for more anime previews, kuchi previews to share with all of you. So, today's topic of the day is another Ichiban kuchi to share with all of you. And this is the Ichiban kuchi Chido Neko Project. And I know a lot of you may not know this, including myself. I'm not gonna lie, I'm being honest with you all. Because this one was released last year, 2017, and on the month of July 29th. That is really long time. But here in Hong Kong, we still have it for some odd reason, which I don't know literally. But uh, according to some of my friends, like those um, guys, of course, they tell me that it is very well known and very popular there in Japan and currently here, surprisingly, here in Hong Kong, a lot of you guys likes to play it as well because it's a very famous um, game app that you play on your devices, your phone or your big tablet and it's very fun they say. And it makes me call the Koala Maj Madoka Magica app that I used to watch uh, those uh, Japanese YouTubers playing on it and it's very interesting. But I was really surprised that this um, Kuji, even though it's almost a year, it's still they still have it here in Hong Kong and I done this on March 16th which is on my sister's birthday not enough so if you want to greet her feel free to comment if you know my sister not enough for doing let's play for a long time then feel free to comment here yep not enough so anyway so I done this on March 16th and there's only a few um, slots left so if you look at the photo right here before I done slot you can see me hulking, uh, holding the um, the list of the prices there's only like nine slots left and the shop owner thought I'm going to get the whole thing but I said to the shop owner I don't have en enough money I'm just gonna go for a few try but if I still have maybe I'll go the whole thing or not but in the end I decided to um, just go until I will achieve the B price if I if I can get if not then I'm fine with it as well because the remaining prices are actually good because the cups the F price it's been taken so I'm glad because if there's a cups there's no way I'm going to do for it and not to make my sister um you know fed up so before I show you my live reaction of course here are the prices I'm going to uh, put it right now in this uh, video so you can see all the prices from all uh, all the way from A until the last one price. So the A price, B price are the figures including the last one price. So you can see the B and the last one price, right? Two of them are actually the same but the, the color scheme or the um, texture of the color are you know slightly different. You can see the last one is a lighter transparent while the left side is a solid to all the way a little bit lighter of the transparent you can tell by the two differences of the B price and the last one price and this character is called uh, Noah N-O-A while the A price figure is Tina and then for the C price is a very cute adorable uh, plush doll with the rubber dinghy and it's very cute then for the D price is a very long towel I believe it's around 100 cm long I could be wrong and then for the E prices are the phone acrylic stand, there's three kinds. F price, which are the uh, glass cups, total of three kinds, and glad all of them has been taken. Then for the G and H price are the rubber straps, but the differences between these two, the, D, uh, the G uh, price straps has the rubber dinghies, five, five types of them. H price without the rubber uh, dinghies, uh, but there's like a total of eight of them. And a lot of the characters I really don't know so please don't blame me for just guessing this and that but I done a little research while you know trying to add the you know background for this title of the day so without that uh, enjoy my live reaction <laughs> Oh. 
头都系 H。So after I have done a total of seven, instead of like getting all of the nine remaining slots, here it is. Yep, sorry. Here are all the seven slots as proof, and luckily the shop owner let me keep the box because there's only two tickets left. And I know a lot of you may think you can only get like these ones or the um, uh, price list like you normally tape on the uh, ticket after you pull them out. You can only get that until you get the final or, or last one price. But the shop owner knows me that much and they don't want to make this one as a waste. So I said then why don't I just keep it because it's a cute souvenir and I could put something inside anyway. So I have a total of four of these. Literally, I'm not kidding. I have four of these ones right here in my room and here are all these seven prices so i'm going to go uh accordingly like the lowest price first and then to the uh top prices so let's go to the three h prices you can see right here and i'm using this table again so it's very convenient so here are the three h's there we go if you can see clearly there are uh, rubber straps and total of seven kinds wait eight kinds yeah my bad is eight kinds and um, let's start uh, opening this up. Wait, show you at the back side right here. Here are all the lineups of each of the characters. So there is around, um, I think, yeah, I think three uh, females and then uh, five guys right here. So if you do know the following characters on this one, feel free or let me know comments below. If those of you do play this Shiro Neko project. So let's start opening these three boxes. After uh, literally uh, opening this up, I did not peek whatsoever. You can tell by the video. Even I forwarded, I did not uh, pick it up. Don't worry. So let's go to our first box right here. Let's see if we will get this main character. I think she is Tina. Yep, right here. If we get her, then that's good. If we get other characters, then it's no problem with me. So on our first box for the uh, H price, it's... And we get is this character and she's the third one on the first row right here the first row you can see it that's the one she looks very adorable but I will see if anyone wants this because I really really don't know and if I'm going to keep it it's going to be risky and I have a lot of rubber straps to um to be kept for too long so it's not really good so putting this aside right here and now to our second box and besides this is only the remaining um, H prices, the three H prices that I got all of it. So let's see in our second box right here. In three, two, one. And this time we got the boy, the guy, but his eyes right here has like a um, scar right here, makes me call of the Disney character villain scar. No offense, but it makes me call of that when I look at this character right now. So it's also on the first row right here. After the third one I just showed you, this is the one. If you can see it, there we go. And yeah, we can't forget that this one was in year 2014. That's really way back then. So like, this is like um, four years ago. But they have this one, like starting with Kuji uh, last year. But this anime was like very, very long time, but it's still popular. Okay, putting this aside now. And now to our final one. Let's see if we get the main character or other characters. It's fine. So our final H prize in three, two, one. And we got is this character it looks like wearing a, a samurai outfit, like covering its face. You know those kinds of assassin look. So it's not bad. There we go. You can see at the second row. That's the character. So here are the three H prices. Let me have the closer look. Here are the three H's. Now moving on to the G prices, which is two of them. 
and the last one was actually with the D prices so whoever gets it uh, happy to you to get the last one price so here are the two G prices that I got it's with the rubber dinghies and only five of them you can see on the box the front five of them and then here the lineup also five as well so we'll see which one I'll get hopefully I will get is the one the main one right here which her name is Noah and I noticed that her outfit it's like a warrior, which I read it on the uh, Wikipedia on the uh, internet, of course. So let's start opening these 2G prize boxes. After opening these 2G prizes, let's see if I will get the main one or not. If none, then I'll just put them on sale. But of course, in the cheap price, but not too cheap because it wouldn't be fair for me to travel all the way there just to do this Kuji. So Alright, so let's begin on our first one. Let's see which character in 3... Two, one, and we have is this character on the second row right here. You can see the similarity. That's the one over here, and I really don't know this character. So if you really do know this one, uh, let me know co on the comments below. So you can tell by the difference of the G and the H. The G prize is with the rubber dinghy. And now to our last G price. And let's see which character will we get. In three, two, one. What a coincidence. So it seems like I did not really get any of the uh, main character, like the blue one, but it's okay. She's actually still cute, but I'm still going to sell it anyway. Right here, you can see she's the first row in the middle. They look like sisters, maybe. If they're sisters, please uh, let me know in the comments below. And what are their um, names? Because I really don't know even how much I check on the internet. I can't find any information. So if those of you knows this, um, uh, knows or play this uh, game, this mobile game, uh, feel free. Uh, let me know in the comments below. So these are the two G prices. And now to the E price and the only E price from the out of the nine slots and I was able to get the E price and it's a phone acrylic stand you can see right here and then you can see the upper uh, left right here it shows you the demonstration and of course you can see the box itself it has the icon of the Ichiban Kuji and Van Presto and then the box of the color the color of the box it's like like a book like that and you can see it's a purple theme some of the yellow parts here's the side of the box then here's the back and here are the three types which i mentioned so there there's the e1 e2 and e3 and i got is the e2 because many people apparently likes the e1 and e3 because of the girls which i know like as a lot of guys likes the girls cute girls but for the second one, I noticed that there's a guy and one girl, but it's actually very cute. If you look at the stand right here, you can see it. That's really adorable though, with a mini uh, blue mascot. There's no difference because this mini mascot squirrel, it's still in the E3 and the E1. And this is the size of 14 cm, you can see it right there. So without that, um, let's open this up. And after opening the box up, you can see this how it looks like from inside. And it really is adorable. We'll just see how it looks like, how we um, assemble it. So I will open this up. After you see me just pulling off the plastic and assembling it, there we go, it's separate in two parts and it's actually good. So when you put the stand right here, let me give you the um, focus, how it looks like. So this is how it looks at the front, the side, the back, and another side right here. And it's not bad for a phone acrylic stand right here. So don't worry, uh, after I done the report the recording, I'll uh, take a photo, you, I'll just put it right here. This is how it looks like with my phone or with my sister's phone. I one of my, uh, asked my mom or my sister to borrow it and take a sample how it looks like for this one. And it's very it's adorable because you can lean like 
having a sun dating for that uh, uh, feeling. But it's really just adorable. You can see the pattern of this character with the um, looks like Bob the Builder having this muscular, um, like he just uh, bulked up all of a sudden, like upgrade. Oh well, just call him um, Bob the Builder anyway. So it's really just cute, not bad, not bad at all. And here's the credits. If you can see it, wait. There we go. That's the one. Yep, that's the one. And here is the E price. The only E price. And now to the B price. The only one slot B price. And almost to the point I could not get it, but luckily, out of just out of curiosity, I just grabbed it. And I was, I really thought I could not get it, but then. This just end up showing up, so it's a little bit. I was just to the point almost unlucky, but this time it's um, still lucky anyway. Not weird luck, but it's just lucky. So you can see that this is the B price of Noah, and this one is in the warrior uh, version, like in her battle suit. She really is adorable. Then you can see here that's her name, uh, Noah in Japanese, and then this one, you can see this word all the way to here, that means figure in Japanese. Then you can see the icon right here from the uh, Shiron Neko project in Japanese. Here is the Ichiban uh, icon and Ban Presto icon. And this is the B price and only one kind. So a lot of people do like this one comparing to the A price uh, Tina. So this is the side of the box, the back of the box. And this one shows you the two stands, how do you stand on the uh, two... Uh, of course two item one is of course the character and one is the jellyfish surprisingly it's a jellyfish and stick it into the uh, the base so without that I'll be right back and open this up and to share with all of you after opening her up and removing the content inside the box and holy crap this is actually very well detailed uh, well sculpted well painted and it's very adorable. Look at this character Noah in her warrior outfit. Like if those of you uh, really knows this one rather than me, look every single angle of her. Oh my goodness, she looks very adorable from head to toe. You can see I'm doing this all the way 360, all the way. You can see even the color. Like even though this one's not really a transparent like the hair part, but look at that from the light uh, blue then dark blue and then all the way to this uh, lighter uh, lighter blue like highlight blue even on top here because the her bows looks uh, is resemble of a jellyfish you can tell by the image of it even the way of her outfit if you let, let me see if my phone can focus there we go even to her outfit look at that you can see there's that transparent on her arm right here both of them and then even down here, oh my gosh, that is very impressive. And then the part right here, her outfit, it's amazing. Even the detail, oh my gosh, they really done it so good. And then even that skirt. And then right here at the upper part, you can see that jelly uh, jellyfish, that floating thingy. Oh, I don't know how you call it. Yeah, I mean, look at that. This really is cool. Look at it closely. Looking all the way to this one right here, to the shoes. And then all to the front you could see how much effort that the country really did this even the attachment of the ribbon the uh, you know even this one like a dress like all the tip to the toe oh my gosh even these ones how do they do that that's really is amazing then of course we can't forget is every figures their main key is the facial expression you can see the eye color right there how they nailed it so good the paint job is well detailed, well done. Facial expression makes you call Raven when she's so focused to focus her energy blast like that. That's really amazing. And then we can't forget is this um, jellyfish. I think one of her weapons or companion. I'm so sorry. I'm just trying my best to see if it really matches. But look at the jellyfish right here. Makes you call a lamp post. If you can see the resemblance like a lamp post. But look at it, you can see a lighter transparent, but not purely transparent. But look at that, that's amazing. Even not all the way, but you can see they put a lot of effort 
from all the way in there then out and then the tip of it oh my gosh that's really is cool and really amazing even right here to the toe and then again the tip because you know the jellyfish look and that's amazing and here is the hole to attach the uh, stand right here because there's two stands this one is for this and then the other one's for the figure which I'll show you this one this one is very unique so this one it has to be down here and then this one is for the base so here is the base you can tell and this one is for the character Noah to place of course this two the foot the, the feet into right here and you can tell that's the one it is so I will be right back to uh, assemble uh, her and including the um, partner or her weapon oh well I'll, I will just fast forward this and I'll show you and there we have it uh, I noticed that uh, the stand right here the one I told you with the odd shape to hold had that weird shape thing to make this one balance I have to remove the stands right here this can be removable the one on her that, that's uh, attached to her feet you can actually remove this one so the very first thing I would do is put this stand of course remove this one of course this ones and put the stand right here and then afterwards you can attach these ones or her and then place it together and make sure that this one will not you know uh, get damaged right here you can see it to have that balance to maintain its balance and to prevent from damaging it then you can stand uh, you can make this character Noah uh, to be steady standing still and then of course um, this assistant or her weapon it's of course behind her and you can tell it's already been steady, it's been already replaced, but it doesn't have this uh, again with the cut side like that, so it's not really the whole hole to attach, but just like there's a half cut only. So I have to uh, place the, st the stand for this one first, then afterwards the stand to attach the base. So this is how I assemble it. Like normally, I would attach the character and stand, and I mean to the base, but for them, this one is the the object first then to the base well this one for her is the base first the, the, the stand attached to the base and then the main figure afterwards so uh, you have to be very careful of this because the stands are like a bit of a plastic and you have to be very careful because one slight mistake it will cause you um, you know uh, you already know the meaning but anyway let's have a recap on the figure it really is a gorgeous figure for a 10 cm and no wonder a lot of people really do prefer the b price comparing to the a price even though the character a lot of people do prefer that character the a price uh, tina but when it comes to the figure or the um, product of this character noah she's actually very adorable but i just want to know is uh, her ability because I know her uh, outfit represents ocean sea like that so uh, just curious how what's her um, techniques so those of you who do play this game let me know in the comments below what's this about and is it very interesting for everyone to play like besides for guys to do some uh, some female ladies you know play, also do play this uh, let me know in the comments below so let you see all the way 360 and this is really really cute for a 10cm figure it's very adorable and some people they will sell this like around uh, 500 Hong Kong dollars to above because of the detail of this the transparent of the outfit so I can understand why this is only just one slot and many people are having a hard time to find this comparing to the A price. Even until now, I've seen a lot of the websites, a lot of them are still selling or trying to uh, beg for exchange for the A for the B price. And here is the B price yet again. And that's about it. So in my conclusion, these uh, prices are very durable even though I'm not really into the rubber straps because I don't know the characters but they're still cute and of course I did say I have to sell the 
rubber straps for the both G price and the H price. So there's a total of five of them. And for the E price, I will just decide to um, keep it. You know, just for memories that this is my very first time to do the pull for almost getting the last one price. But if I do uh, get a chance to see a few prize left, like maybe let's say six, five, or or lower, then I will see if I could do that. But it has to be my uh, that that my favorite anime, cartoon, or the ones I really know. Not like this one, because I really don't know. So. It really is a nice one, even though I don't know the character. But I do hope uh, all of you enjoyed this uh, Ichiwan Kuji uh, video of this uh, Shiron Neko project. And if you do like this video of this Ichiwan Kuji of the day, uh, give it a thumbs up and feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel to uh, stay, stay tuned and to see what other Ichiban Kujis or Kujis in general I'm going to preview or show my live reaction or other anime previews that I'm going to share in the later future. So if you do enjoy it again, click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more anime previews in the later future. So till then everyone, see you all in the next anime preview.